What's the crack, lads? What's going on? Welcome back to another Player of the Week review. We have got two Player of the Week selections this week. We've got the normal one here with Mbappe, Van Dijk, uh, which are like, you know, kind of club domestic league um, teams and selections. And then we've got the European Club Championships as well, right? So European Championship Player of the Weeks and regular Player of the Weeks. Okay, so let's crack on, right? We're actually going to take a look at this one first because there's a couple of nice players in here. As I always say, lads, depending on where you are with your squad, if you've got a lot of legends, if you've been playing this game for a long time, I would say Mbappe is probably the only uh, kind of like, you know, end game type player on this or even mid game, I would say, with a lot of the players that are out there now. What I like about this Mbappe is that he is a very unique whole player. Um, we've never had a player like this kind of before with these stats of Mbappe, which has got pretty much everything you could possibly want uh, for an attacking midfielder whole player, especially because of the pace, the speed, the balance, the running. This is kind of the ultimate run and gun attacking midfielder. Doesn't have amazing passing, but 85 is more than enough. I would also say that his finishing at 89 is really, really nice. Ball control, dribbling type possession, speed, acceleration, and attacking awareness. Of course, you could play him as a center forward as well, but I would say give him a try as an attacking midfielder, lads. It could be it could be good for you, depending on your play style, especially as, you know, maybe if you're playing a 4-3-3 um, with kind of like a diamond in midfield, you know, or two holding and an attacking. Uh, he will cover a lot of ground, especially because he's got good stamina, balance, speed, and acceleration, right? Unwavering form as normal, double touch, scissors, feint, chop, turn, and of course, we've got first time shot, and weighted pass, true passing, acrobatic finishing, chip shot control, and fighting spirit, right? So we'll have a look at these again, but if you guys are wondering, right, if you are new to the game, you can actually get a free spin every week. Every Thursday, you can get a free spin by playing the events. All you have to do is go in here into Dream Team, into events, and then usually it's one of the teamed events, right? So it is this one here against the AI. This is the free one. All you have to do is complete that. You can play as many or as little games as you want to complete it, depending on what difficulty you want to play it at. And then obviously, once you rack up enough points, you will get that into your inbox and you'll be able to have a free spin. So it won't cost you anything, only your time, okay? So we will also take a look at the rest of the players on display this week, including the national midfielders and the Euro player of the weeks. But for the rest of these players... I don't want to overcomplicate it, lads, because we're at the stage now in the game that even if you started this game like a month ago, you'll probably have better players in your squad than most of these guys, right? So the likes of Solanke there, this guy is a very decent goal poacher, but he's lacking pace, acceleration, and of course that all-important balance and tight possession, which you need for where the game is at at the moment. He's not good enough or tall enough or strong enough to be a physical threat in the box. Yes, of course he can score goals. Every video, you know, you're going to have, or every week you're going to have, um, you know, the argument against and say like, oh, you know what, I got this guy and he's, he's scoring, you know, two headers a game for me. I mean, you can score headers with Messi in this game. It, it, it doesn't really, you know, if you play to that exact way. I mean, when I'm playing with Collar, it's the Collar show. You know what I mean? So, of course, Collar is going to be banging in goals left, right and center. But for the average person and the average player um, that just wants kind of like pick up and play players, um, these guys just do not cut the mustard compared to what else is out there as alternatives, even for free, even for GP, right? We already have, we also have this guy, um, as a deep line forward. Again, he's got a form. All of these players will have a form. He's got track back and super sub, but the rest, the rest of his card is quite average. You know, 88 finishing is nice, but again, you've got that issue with the balance because he's quite tall and he's not strong enough. Usually if a player has got like low balance, they'll have good physical contact. And this guy has got neither. We also have, uh, João Neves who plays for Benfica very good box to box as well he's quite small he's kind of like Kante um, and I don't know who that's meant to be but it's a very bad face but he doesn't have that many um, player skills that you'd be shouting home about he's he's an average player I mean especially when you see what's on offer with Enzo Fernandez this week but if you do get him in your free spin He's definitely worth a pop into your midfield, especially because uh, you will be able to kind of use him on a rate and which will make a difference. Timber is kind of a similar situation. Doesn't have the best defense, is more an attacking box to box. You can't change any of these guys' stats, obviously. You can add additional skills onto him, so you can't retrain him or anything like that. But on a form, this guy is quite decent as well. And of course, you've got speed, acceleration, and stamina, which is all you need for a center midfielder box to box, just to cover every blade of grass. 
Defensively, he's not the worst, but he's not the best. There are a lot of better options out there, including, you know, the likes of Standard Barella, the Standard Bellingham. If you didn't get free Bellingham, there's lots of good options out there. We also have our goalkeeper, Borussia. This guy, I mean, he doesn't even hit 90 in any of the stats, so the less said about him, the better. If you do spin him, tough look. We also have a Sarabia. This guy is a beast, um, but he's not as good as he should be, in my opinion. I mean, I definitely think when they're bringing out players like this, they should make him at least 94, 95 and have one stat that is in the 90s. This guy doesn't have any stats in the 90s. He's not a bad player, but he's definitely better in real life, I would say. He's got some good player skills, but yeah, not many people will be using him because he doesn't have enough passing or pace based on what else you can get there. We also have Asurbi. Again, he's down as a build-up centre-back, similar to Van Dijk, who we'll have a look at in a second. Got actually some pretty decent player skills, including all the defensive ones that you could want, except acrobatic clearance. He doesn't have that, but he has man-marking interception blocker, aerial superiority, sliding tackle, heading, and fighting spirit, which is very important for the moment with center backs i'll get into that later on um today in our stream or else i'll do a video on it he's a tall guy as well he's physically strong heading is quite good aggression isn't the best but you're not going to be using this guy as your aggressive mobile center back he's going to be your mop-up man um in terms of aerial ability and all that sort of stuff right danny carvajal and trossard not glossing over the two of them but trossard is a fairly decent deep line forward good balance speed acceleration dribbling finishing Pretty much everything that you could possibly want. I mean, similar to Lissandro Lopez or Lissandro Martinez, I should say. Um, this guy is a fairly decent player. He's also got super sub, which I definitely think if you do spin him, bring him off the bench. I would say the same about Danny Carvajal. He's probably just a little bit below what you need for a right back. Simply because you can't add blocker to him. You have a couple of other good stats, but you can't really add anything else to him, which is a bit of a pity. But on unwavering form and on A rating, he's pretty, pretty decent. Um, he's just an all-rounder. But for me, if I'm using a defensive right back, uh, he's not good enough. If I'm using an attacking right back, he's not good enough because he can't really cross the ball or dribble as much as some other right backs that are there. Or else if I'm using a center back or somebody like Wan Bissaka, he's going to completely destroy Carvajal um, defensively in terms of stats, right? Now, we've already covered Mbappe, but we will cover Liverpool's Virgil van Dijk, who's having a great season again this year. It pains me to say that as a United fan, but you have to respect that uh, Van Dijk is a phenomenal player, lads, in fairness to him. He just commands that back area very, very nicely. And he kind of does the same for me. I play with Van Dijk in my squad, and I've played with him for the last six months, I would say. I keep going back to him. He's slow. He is clumsy. He will make a few mistakes, right? But he's very, very, very decent in the air, on the ground. He actually doesn't feel... Um, like you, you know, you can't, you ever get caught in possession with him or caught, caught out of position, out of position, I should say. Um, aggression, defensive engagement, defensive awareness, and tackling. Obviously, the big time showtime card is going to massively outperform him. But if you did miss out on that Van Dyke card, it's not the worst one. And especially, he's got all the player skills that you could possibly want as well. So that is it from me, lads. We'll be back with the other player of the week um, selection and also the national midfielders very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying daily content. Two videos a day, minimum. Three streams a week, minimum. And loads of crack and banter. So if you enjoy that, you enjoy the videos, uh, let me know. And uh, any feedback you guys have for what you don't enjoy or anything that you'd like to see added to the channel, let me know as well. I'm always open to ideas. And uh, yeah, that is it for me. I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe and like and subscribe in the video.